Hey guys, Pajama Boy here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're back in Fallout 76, and I'm here to tell you about some must-do events. So if you see these events going on, I recommend just drop what you're doing and run over to do them, because everyone in the map will do them, and you will get a shitload of experience and a bunch of legendary weapons. And, I mean, you can need that stuff, so... Might as well farm it while you can. You can do this at any level, since, you know, everyone in the map will go there and do it with you, so it's not going to be very... Well, it's going to be kind of difficult, so I recommend, you know, having a suit of power armor or, you know, something to keep you alive better. Like me, personally, I wear my power armor everywhere, but that's just me. I like to run around in a little tank, but anyway... You're going to want to come over to this Moonshine Jamboree. This is a really good event. It will level you up pretty quick. Once here, you just kind of got to run into the building and talk to the Mr. Handy to start the event. Make sure you're in a public team too, because you'll get more experience and whatever your teammates shoot, you'll get when you loot their corpses. Talk to the Mr. Handy to start the event. Now after you talk to the Mr. Handy, he'll tell you to go outside and light the bonfire in the back of the truck. Once you do that, you just got to protect these moonshine steels until, you know, time runs out. And they will get attacked by ghouls and gulpers. But when you kill these things and your team kills them, they'll drop venom. And you have to collect this venom. Once you've collected the venom... run back inside the house and dump it inside the bathtub. You need 60, I do believe, to come to get like the bonus rewards. So make sure you're delivering that venom. And that's pretty much this event. It is better if you are in a team, like I said. This next event is a must. I mean, you can get so many legendary weapons, and everyone in the map will do this. This is called Eviction Notice. All you have to do is protect this little rad generator in the middle of the map, and super mutants will run at you like crazy. But after you've destroyed the first wave, you destroy the little flesh bags you see hanging around and the real event will start and it will start spawning in legendary super mutants and as you can see from me just playing this event there's countless enemies that spawn Guaranteed to spawn down here will be three super mutants every like two to three minutes and up top of the hill will be the same three two to three s legendary super mutants every single time and as you can see I after the event Yeah, make sure you check all the piles on the ground if you go to the gr one pile you can check nearby corpses instead of running to each and it saves you a lot of time. So make sure to check all the, you know, nearby ones, like run up the hill a little and check those just so you're not missing out on any legendaries. And when you see eviction notice pop up, drop what you're doing and go do it. Because look at everyone in the map came to it. 
Now, if you see radiation rumble pop up, this is like this and eviction notice. These are the two events you really want to go to. Everyone in the map will go to radiation rumble because you can level up so many times. And there's quite a few legendary weapons that will drop. Not as much as eviction notice, but pretty damn close. Now, have some people up defending the scavengers and have one or two people running down and collecting ore. Once you see someone start it, like this guy's about to. As a, I'm gonna go down and collect ore while these guys protect the people that are processing it. Now you're gonna wanna mine this ore off the wall, the uranium, I guess, or whatever the hell. This is. Once you've collected a good amount of it, run back upstairs, go through this if you need the radiation taken off of you, and then dump your ore into this. Now once you dump your ore and it goes up a little, more and harder enemies are going to spawn in, so just get ready for that. After you've defended for a while, it doesn't matter if two scavengers die, as long as you keep one alive, you'll still complete the event. And this event will give you some pretty awesome stuff, like the special hazmat suit that you can only get from this event, or the radiation barrels that you can place at your camp, which is really awesome. Now make sure that you loot everything before you leave, so if you go up to one of the corpse piles and search nearby corpses, it'll search all nearby corpses instead of running to each one. It'll save you a lot of time. And there is a workbench right here to scrap all of it instead of running to the entrance. Now, Uranium Fever is a pretty good event, in my opinion. It doesn't give you a lot of legendaries, maybe like five for the whole event, maybe six, depending on how lucky you get. But it does give you a lot of experience, and you can take like... I feel like you can run like new players through this event pretty easily, so this would be a good one to help your friends level up a bit. But, I mean, Radiation Rumble and Eviction Notice are the ones you really want to focus on. Make sure you're in a group, too. Makes it all the easier. This event is pretty simple. All you have to do is stop the mole miners from <clears throat> destroying these pumps or mining machines, I guess. And every so often, a legendary mole miner will pop up, and you have to, you know, kill him. Repair the machines if they get destroyed. Easy peasy. So, yeah, I hope this video helped you out, guys. If it did, you know, like and subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments, and I'll get to them as fast as I can. And uh, remember, guys, we all die alone and afraid.